I'm Dr. Olawale Amubieya. We're at UCLA, and I'm a fellow physician in pulmonary critical care medicine. In some ways, the white coat is like a red cape. It's pretty amazing wearing this, this red cape in the hospital. To be able to walk into a situation or walk into a room and people look towards you for answers and for them to know that I'm on their side. Such a warming feeling inside. I really do love it. I am the first doctor in, in my family. My parents were both born in Nigeria. They both came to the US for an education and they stuck around because they wanted their kids to have those same opportunities that they came here for. My childhood church was doing this pageant of careers and everybody was signing up for different roles and they asked me what I wanted to do and I said, I'll be a doctor. Everybody in my church started to call me doctor. They didn't call me by my name anymore. That's like kind of my name. Even though I'd never seen anybody like me do it, um, when I went to my church, they said, you know, there's the doctor right there. So I was like, okay, here's the doctor right here. At some point during high school, doing the things that I was doing, getting the grades that I was getting, all of a sudden that goal seemed tangible. I went to undergrad at Yale University. We do not come from money, but with a combination of very generous uh, need-based scholarship and um, hustling for any merit-based scholarship I could apply for and get, we were able to make it happen. You get there and you realize these are just people. You get into class and put my mind to it and was everybody as capable as every guy next to me no matter where they came from. For medical school I went to Columbia College of Physicians and Surgeons. For residency I attended internal medicine residency here at UCLA. Residency here was an amazing experience. I feel like I've seen so many different types of patients. Now two more years of fellowship after this one um, and then uh, kind of off and on my own. The weight of being one of the few black male doctors um, in a medical center is tangible. There's definitely the feeling that you are representing more than just yourself. I feel like there's so few African American males in medicine because we just don't see ourselves. If you don't see your dream, it's hard for you to imagine it. There's a lot of work to do before we change the norm. Every new black male doctor moves us closer to changing the norm, but um, we've got a long way to go. But I'm willing. Being a mentor and providing mentorship to people who are trying to do the same thing that I've done has been really important to me, and it's been one of the most rewarding aspects of this career. My wife and I were both at Columbia. She went to law school, I went to medical school. We have one amazing child. And I feel like it's my job to take how far that I've gotten and open up every opportunity possible for my daughter so that she can get even further. I feel like that's kind of the immigrant experience and that's kind of the American experience. Your parents raise you up as high as you can go. You raise yourself up as high as you can go and then you push your children beyond that. For a young person of color who is thinking about medicine and has no people in their community who are doing it, no resources, no matter where you came from, this is a real possibility. There are people all over the country just like me who are itching to help you. Search online, go to your local hospital, ask if there's anyone that you can shadow and you'll find us because we want you. We want you doing what we're doing so that you can then help the next person who looks like you do it too. We want you to join our movement. My name is Olawale Amubieya, and I am a black man in a white coat. <laughs>